Well, this is our most requested video pretty much ever. Um, and we finally got around to filming it for you. We're so excited to go through how to clean your brushes. So I have been doing this for many years and this is the way that I do it. Um, and I think this is the best way to do it for people at home. Using a shampoo and conditioner and some warm water is your best way to clean your brushes. I feel like sometimes that a lot of brush cleaners can be quite astringent, which means they strip the brushes of their natural moisture. And so it's really great to, and given that a lot of you don't have a lot of brushes, if you are a professional makeup artist and you're working with a lot of brushes and you're needing to clean on the go, brush cleaner is a really great way of doing it. However, we definitely need to be focusing on what you would be doing at home. And this method is what I would recommend the best. So getting a nice warm water, separating your brushes out to put your different kind of, so you can see here, I've got the duo fibered face brushes. We run it under the warm water first just to warm up that pigment that's on the brush, getting it nice and wet, going into a shampoo. I used my hands. You can use contraptions and all the things if you like. I'm a low maintenance gal and the hand has got all the grooves that most of the mitts have anyway and you give it a really good rub around squeezing it out is really important and getting back in there and then rinsing out this is important the first step because you want to get in the initial amount of pigment off um, but it's not going to be enough so you need to double shampoo so we're going in again to really get a deep cleanse on them now how often you clean your brushes is up to you um i to be honest with you i'm not one of those people that say you should do it every month or every three weeks being completely honest if you do it every you know eight to twelve weeks that's completely sufficient i probably don't even do it that much um if you do find that you're sensitive and prone so here i'm just going in with some of the um the conditioner i love using conditioner i feel like it makes the brushes super super soft um, it also means they smell really delicious. Um, it's up to you. This is how I recommend. And this is what I find that I keep my brushes really in great condition for a really long time. You'll also notice I'm always pointing the head down. Please don't ever. Um, and then I'm just tapping it down to get all the fibers at the same level. Otherwise you'll miss some. Um, but always keep your heads down so that the water and the soap and any oils, etc., don't go down into the head where the, the glue is. Otherwise you'll break down. Um, the glues and the fibers will fall out. So giving a really good squeegee out, squeezing out all the excess moisture, and then we rest it over the edge of the counter. This allows circular um, air to kind of get all the fibers and it allows it to be dried in a really cohesive, um, consistent way. So now I'm going in with our brush twos and our more smaller brushes. I like to kind of do concealers and face brushes. So don't get the... <laughs> Lol, well, okay, Hillary, don't do that. Pretty much what I was saying there is don't get water on the handles because you're going to, the more water that permeates the wood in the handles, the more the wood will split. So always, again, keeping your handles down and away from the water. You want to make sure that it's only the fiber of the brush that's getting wet. Um, otherwise, you're going to have problems and your brushes won't last. So again, double shampoo, um, getting all the excess out, really nice clean brushes, squeeze. You can see how that double shampoo, you can see even more has come out. So definitely it's the same with hair on your head. You would do with the brushes, double shampoo for a really ultimate clean and then rinse it out. Really use your hand and the fingers to kind of create the, um, the bend in the brush and then wring out and go into some conditioner. Really want to get that, um, the health in the brush. I do really love conditioner. Again, it's not, um, Everyone has to do it. It depends on what you have. And yes, I'm using Kevin Murphy, but I used to have a salon and we had heaps of excess. So I use them to clean the brushes. Is it ridiculous? Absolutely. Do you need to use that? No. All I would say is get a relatively decent one and don't get any shampoo or conditioners that have silicones in them. Just um, even, you know, Johnson's and Johnson's is enough. So again, resting over the edge of the handle, um, over the edge of the bench. Then I always like to just, again, protect the handles. So I always like to wipe down the handles with a tissue or some toilet paper or a a towel just to remove any excess moisture not only in the heads but on the handles as well because this will allow the drying time but also just meaning that any of that extra moisture sometimes people can get mold in their brushes because that extra moisture in the heat so that is it that's the end of my video of how to clean your brushes i hope that was really helpful for all tips and tricks head to homebeauty.com where we have an online educational platform um, but also across all of our socials we have lots and lots of um, educational uh, videos for how to look after your products and how to apply. Hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.